Hey, so I'm going to be uh, doing a uh, quick video of uh, working on uh, heel toe. Uh, this is how I do it. This is a little short thing right there. I have my heel down on the pedal and I just go like this. This is how I do it. Um, it's really easy uh, to do actually. Um, since I do not play with shoes on, I have to do this right here. Um, if you have shoes on, you can just go like this, just because there's a whole lot more weight in under feet. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's multiple techniques to do quad bass. But right now, I cannot do it that well because I have no idea what reason. Um, my feet are just tired. One thing about this that is good is it builds up the muscles in your leg right there. Right, right here. So, you can just play with your feet down. You can just play with your feet down and it's a whole lot easier. Um, and if you're miking the bass drum up, it can be faster. you are playing. Um, I do recommend the heel toe even though it's one of the basic ones. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, the Another one I'm working on is sliding your, pretty much sliding your foot like this. But I need socks to be able to do that real well, and I obviously am not wearing socks right now. Uh, also, another one is another one is sliding your foot down the pedal like this. Once again, I need socks to be able to do that. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. Just the heel toe. Um, another one is to keep the balls of your feet down at the end of the pedal like this. And hardly put your foot off the ground. Like your I mean your heel off the ground. So you're like this. And it you can be able to go faster. It just depends on what you're playing. And once again, it's better if you mic it up, unless you have feet of steel. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll be making other videos of how to tune drums, because um, those are always fun. I honestly hate tuning drums. Uh, it's probably one of the most annoying tasks ever on the drum set. Um, so there's, uh, I'll be doing that. I'll be doing that video here very soon. Um, and that's all I have. If you have any questions, go and ask me and I will uh, make another video or tell you about how to do them. Uh, most of it is pretty easy on a heel toe. You know. That's it, really. But on what I have is I have the direct drive. Depending on how hard I hit it, the pedal will go pop, pop. It'll just automatically hit by itself, which is pretty funny. Like that. You know. But that just depends on how hard I hit the pedal. Um, I have had problems doing heel toe on chain pedals just because most of the pedal boards are not long enough and I have huge feet. Uh, and that's, that's probably one of the, the only things I do not like about chain pedals. They're awesome. I love them, but, um, unless you get a real nice one that has a long board and you have long feet like me. Um, the Demon Drive, the Cold Demon Drive is $650. That's the double pedal. 
Um, it is really nice because it's the direct drive. I have had it for almost two years. It'd be two years in... Actually, it's about two years now. Um, yeah, it's been about two years. Anyways, uh, I've not had a single problem with this pedal at all. Uh, just the hammers, the little, there's that little wear and tear, but you know, that's, that's, that's with every pedal, you'll get a little wear and tear. Uh, so thanks for watching this video, and if you have any other questions, go holler at me and, and I'll make another video, or I will make another, uh, or I'll just comment on the questions. Uh, but there's that. It's, it's pretty easy. As you can see, my hand is. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, just go shoot me a uh, question and I'll either make a response video or I will go and answer the question like I just said. Uh, tuning drums will be up very soon. Uh, that's a really fun one. Um, and I will be able to show you guys that. Alright, thanks for watching.